right guys, Dan from Smoking Dan's here. Really excited about this cook today. Do you like KFC hot wings? Because I do. What we're going to be doing is my version of Kamado fried chicken. That KFC. All on this Kamado Joe. I'm going to take you through the steps of how we're going to prep the chicken, get that nice coating and get them cooked up on air on the barbecue and still great results. Let's go. So, we're in here in the kitchen prepping up our chicken wings. Get all these out, get them in to a bowl with uh, a little bit of a kitchen towel. Just to remove any sort of excess moisture that comes out of the packets on these. So, we've got our full wing here. We've got a wing tip, as they call it, the wing flat, and the drumette. So we're gonna cut this wing tip off, separate the flat from the drumette. We're gonna keep hold of the wing tips anyway, because we can make some stock with them, that's not a problem. But first off, obviously, you wanna fill, bend it back, pop the joint out, try and get in between that cartilage and it'll just cut straight through like that. And the same goes for these. Finding that joint just makes it so much easier. So straight away, of course you can get rid of any little bits. There's your wing flat. And there's your drumette. So we're gonna do that with the rest of the wings. So now, they're all trimmed up, all in a bowl. We're gonna marinate this in some buttermilk. Just got a tub of buttermilk here. Just gonna pour all that in. Like so. Then we're gonna give a generous glug of Frank's Red Hot Wings. Then we're gonna uh, just give them a bit of a mix. Get them all incorporated with all that marinade. And these are gonna sit in the fridge for at least six hours, preferably overnight. Wrapping cling film. And there we have it. Time to get in the fridge. So we've got a nice bit of charcoal in the bottom there, fire lighter in there. We're gonna have our accessory rack in the lower position. Once we've got that lit and it's warmed up a little bit, we're gonna drop our deflector plates in, um, like so. And then obviously our grates on top. This is going to create almost like an oven effect where you're gonna get all the heat off of the deflectors, obviously, as well as all around the ceramic itself. Um, we're gonna be aiming for a temperature of around 190 degrees C, um, somewhere like that. And they're gonna take anywhere between 40 and 60 minutes, depending on how crispy you want them. Um, we're gonna also drop a, a lump of uh, maple wood in there as well for a bit of smoke nice bit of sweet smoke um, so let's see how we get these chicken wings prepared right we're going to do a little blue cheese dip to go with our wings what i've got on here is uh, about 100 grams of the buttermilk uh, we've got about 40 grams of blue stilton cheese a pinch of smoked paprika and a small garlic clove i've just got it in a little hand blender and we're just going to whiz that up Have a look. Looking good. So now we've got a lovely dressing dip, whatever you want to do with it, to go with our wings. So now, 
get the barbecue lit. Open the bottom vent right the way up, leave the dome up for about five, 10 minutes. So now the fire's established. We get our two deflectors in. Get our grates in. And we're gonna bring this up to around about 190 degrees, somewhere like that. So we've got the top vent open, bottom vent open. And when we get to around about 20 degrees off, what we're trying to rain, we'll start tuning the, uh, the vents down. While this is preheating, we're gonna get our chicken all ready. It's all right. Our wings have been uh, marinated nicely in the fridge for about six hours. In this bowl, we've got about uh, 250 grams of plain flour, a teaspoon of baking powder, and about two tablespoons of your favorite rub. I'm using butt rub at the minute. I find it adds a quite a, a nice uh, savory note rather than a sweet one at this stage. So we're just gonna give all that a good mix through. We've got a wire rack here. I'm going to take one of our wings, get it in the flour, shake off any excess, place on the rack. We're going to do this with the rest of our wings. Sure they're well coated. So now we've finished off that. This is the coating we're sort of after. As you can see, it's taken on them wings very nicely. Right, so we're up to 190 C. Gonna open up the lid. Nice bit of uh, maple going down in there. And we're just gonna Get the grates back down. Like so. I'm just gonna give us a quick oil on the grates, be very careful. Right, now we're gonna load the chicken on. We've got some canola oil cooking spray and we're just going to give them a bit of a spray making sure we're getting everywhere and then we're going to shut the lid about I'd say 20 minutes and we'll check on them and then give them a flip and oil up the other side so we're about 20 minutes into it let's have a look Now they're looking good already. Let me just bring you in a bit closer. Look at that. That coating is really starting to crisp up, bubble up. Really happy with how this is going. So, the next thing we gotta do, should be very mindful, so we don't wanna lose that Unless they're coming off quite good. Sometimes they can be stick a little bit. So we're just gonna give them a bit of a flip. Oh yes. See I lost a little bit there. It was all good. Got what happened to one or two. Thought it was going to happen to a few more, but there we go. Right, so now we flip them. Another liberal coat of the spray oil, like so. Lid down, another 20 minutes. So we've been in another 20 minutes. We'll temp them, see where we're at. I ought to take mine up into the 80s, high 80s, because in that way I'll just know 
the meat is going to fall off the bone. So now we're going to take them all off onto a wired rack and they can just cool ever so slightly and that will firm up the that will firm up the uh, coating so let's have a look they're looking really good that coating Seems very nice. A lovely crispy coating. I'm just going to let them set up for a little bit. Let's have a look at one of these. Fantastic coating on that. Crispy coating. Mm. What more do I say? I hope you heard that because it is crispy, it's sort of soft when you get down to the skin part, very tasty. The meat is just moist off the bone. I'm going to get these plated up and I'll show you. So guys, there we have it. Chips. Wings with Frank's hot sauce and some homemade blue cheese sauce. So guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you like my video. Give us a thumbs up. Hit the bell for more notifications of ongoing videos that I will be having out in the future. I'm gonna enjoy these. See you next time. Cheers.